What's up guys, it's Swift from the One Hive 2.0 family coming at you with a recap video for week 6 of CWL. We have One Hive Invicta versus Knights Templar. Losing 84 to 80, we had 91.7% destruction to their 94.7%. Um, we did not have any synergy this war, therefore we kind of fell off the bandwagon uh, in a lot of areas. Um, which resulted in a loss uh, on our part. Um, at the 9v9 level, we went 13 and 34, leaving us at 38% hit rate there uh, to their 17 out of 35 hits, um, leaving them at 49%. So really, they didn't do too well there either. Um, we did have three 11v10 dip fails, um, and they had two 11v10 dip fails. 11 v 10 dip fails. Um, so we had a 50% hit rate there um, and to their 67% uh, uh, We did have to dip five nines with our tens and they dipped two. <clears throat> we did go two and eight of our 10 v 11s uh, They went two of ten so we did slightly better there. So we're seeing some kind of improvement uh, there We did manage to get off three scouts for our tens um, Unfortunately, we just could not pull out ahead uh, in the end, and, and you know, have to hand it to Knights Templar. They they brought their A game um, and got the job done. So that's the way it goes in these wars sometimes. But we move on. So we have a few highlights we're going to show off today. Uh, one Tempe eleven and three Town on nine hits that I thought were notable and good enough to uh, show off. So let's go ahead and dive right into these. First up, we have a 10v11, Dan, a.k.a. Monstrugo, with a go bowler with some baby dragon attack. Uh, scoring some free percentage at 3 and 6 with these minions. So he's going to get decent value from those. And then at 3 o'clock, excuse me, 6 o'clock, he's going to drop his golem, uh, fanning out a few bowlers to gain some good value from those bowler skips. Uh, under rage, he drops a few ball, uh, wall breakers. Gonna try to dwindle down that right side uh, to kind of create that solid funnel that he needs to be successful in this in this particular attack. At uh, nine o'clock, he drops his king, followed by some few wall breakers, and it's just gonna do the same thing he did at six o'clock with the bowlers. He does encounter a, a, a giant bomb there, but it does not kill his bowlers. Uh, completely so they get some good values and it actually ends up pulling the CC and kills that off that expo uh, so that helps out tremendously with two bowlers he places at each camp he's going to draw that CC out even further drops his poison and he's going to take care of that with no problem at all uh, with that archer queen now they do kind of stall here at these uh, high defense uh, HP structures here in the mortar uh, but the golem does end up running away uh, drawing the artillery eagle fires away from the bowler so that was good uh, for him there under hill they're not the hill wasn't very effective in this case because the bowlers just got trained by the inferno tower but the queen's there uh, and she does pop her ability and gets that town hall baby dragons were used for percent all around the base here as you can tell uh, and he does end up scoring that 50 uh, percent that he needs for the two star he has two minions and an archer left here, but there's no um, nowhere where he can gain any more free percent. So 53% uh, is what he ends this raid on. For some reason, I did not uh, fast forward to this, but uh, something you do need to realize in these uh, types of attacks. Sometimes fresh hits can be particularly uh, difficult uh, because there's a lot of factors that could uh, uh, make or break a 10v11 hit especially in today's meta so great job dan next up is my man grizzly featuring another recap highlight on a uh, second recap so this guy's been killing it uh we got a lot of low here so uh kill squad low with two golems so we get a good amount of uh, uh funnel here with these wizards and baby <clears throat> behind these golems tanking all of them uh the, the expo the wizard towers i mean we're just gonna get a lot of value here so he drops his jump here uh they ended up having a all four double giant bombs uh yeah gi giant bombs in that small compartment so he heals there does draw the cc the cc is going to be taken care of with the poison and the queen uh bowlers 
in my opinion, didn't get a lot of value due to the uh, high amount of damage in that uh, small compartment there. But the heroes do do work, and uh, we're going to score another uh, air defense here. And um, that <clears throat> uh, air sweeper that could potentially cause some issues as we're traveling around the base with the uh, Lalo portion. So, uh, good placement on the haste spells. Uh, just right before the defenses, so you don't want to waste anything. Uh, we're gonna get uh, go ahead and get a hound pop here, uh, filtering in these loons just uh, surgically around the base. We do take out that last expo, and they're gonna wrap around back to the uh, last mortar here. Queen is still up. She had popped her ability earlier. Um, he saved one loon for the back end for cleanup. So uh, we do have a lot of pups left and a couple wizards and looks like another bowler uh, so we're gonna make quick work of this base and it was a, just a solid solid hit uh, on grizzly's part and honestly i wouldn't expect anything less so good job man the current meta of the town on nines it's, it's really refreshing to see uh, a different style of attack uh, this kind of goes back to the old uh, meta where La Loon was king and it really it really still is um, but uh, a lot of people are doing hog raids now and the infamous witch slap uh, which I'm not a big fan of myself but uh, Grizzly's holding in this La Loon down like a champ so good good job man next up we have Anaconda verse Matthew in a 9v9 attempt he's quite a bit of wizards in this raid um, Perhaps drops a, one one of the wizards at three o'clock a little bit too early. He does take fire from that cannon and dies pretty early. But uh, uh, he did finally get his golem down at three and at twelve, uh, dropping a few wizards in behind to try to create that wide funnel uh, that's necessary for his kill squad to uh, go in. As you'll see, he'll go ahead and drop his uh, jump spell uh, about dead center in between those compartments uh, and. I think it is seven tiles, so you had to be pretty well placed here. Um, and the king and queen and uh, golem and the bowlers will take it. Uh, draw on the CC and will pre-poison here. Uh, hitting a, a giant bomb, but it's not going to matter too much. They are under fire under that wizard tower, but under rage, this bowler's just wreck. Um, so make quick work with that expo over there, and the king will uh, soon aggro the queen here. Dropping the hill, uh, try to get some of them bowlers up, but it was a little too late. Some trickles in a few hogs um, at about four o'clock at those uh, uh, Tesla pops. So the queen still up, still has her ability. King ability has already been used, but those uh, that golem's tanking pretty strong at six o'clock, and those uh, and he's just trickling in these hogs um, as he needs them. So uh, it's a good place. We still have one wizard for cleanup here, and he does drop it at nine o'clock on that elixir storage. Uh, still has a, quite a few hogs left up here, so we only have three, uh, four defenses left. <clears throat> One does go down. Uh, they have not triggered any um, spring traps as of yet, so uh, going to make quick work of that last enemy archer tower. And the queen is still, in fact, up too. So we have one barbarian king. You notice at about uh, roughly six o'clock on that last camp, um, he's just swinging away like a champ. So uh, solid raid by Anaconda. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here. Just gonna finish the replay. So good hit, man. Always good to see. Next up, we have King of Thieves, or should I say Queen of Thieves, with a surgical hog raid. So surgical, you might as well call her doctor. Seriously, this raid was sick. So we're using three golems to tank uh, with wizards behind her to make that wide funnel. We do get a Tesla form pop, which is excellent. It will take out one of these wizards here. It's not gonna matter. They're gonna quickly uh, revert aggro to the golems uh, so we drop a uh, go ahead and drop a jump spell in, in the middle and the kill squad has no other choice but to go in uh, we did get the CC uh, lure and drop the poison and the heal and the rage so uh, we're just leveling the, the back end of this raid so uh, she uses hogs at nine o'clock to trickle in uh, even under fire the expo it's not gonna matter those hogs are uh, pretty much ripping into those uh, defenses externally at 3 o'clock, we're filtering in some more uh, hogs here, and this is what I love so much about the raid. Uh, she timed it so perfectly that uh, the 
there was no need for a hill, period. So this is very good planning on her part. We still have the coin ability. We still have three whole hogs left, a wizard and four archers. So uh, <clears throat> she does do one in the back end uh, so that such that it does not take any uh, spring trap or any fire of any sort. So um, that was... This is a well-planned attack, and perhaps my favorite in the entire uh, recap video. We did get to spring jab here, but the defense does go down. Uh, they're going to make quick work of the last bit of these uh, structures here. So dropping the, the wizard, or excuse me, the archers on the town hall to kind of uh, dwindle down some of that HP earlier. We're going to go ahead and speed up the video here, but uh, man, that was a good raid. This, it, town Hall 9, I just love Town Hall 9. I, I kind of play favorites a little bit, but uh, Tunnel Knight is just so much fun. Uh, and when you see a good raid like this, you have to show it off. So, fantastic job. I'm very proud. So, those were the four replays that I really wanted to show off in this video because they definitely deserve to be seen again. And it came from four of the best players that we have in our clan, and we have a lot of them. So, uh, shout out to them for doing such a good job and, uh, and being such a good sport. And don't let the results fool you. We did have a lot of fun, and shout out to Knights Templar for their victory in week six over One Hive Invicta. You definitely deserve it, so uh, no bad blood there. And shout out to CWL admins for allowing uh, us to compete at this level. We do appreciate it greatly, and, and a lot of time and planning goes into these these wars, um, and we just we just have a lot of fun week in week out. So. Uh, no bad blood at all. No bad blood at all. And we'll be looking forward to the next matchup uh, uh, if we ever see you again. So uh, do want to say thank you for watching. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're ever interested in checking out the One Hive uh, 2.0 Family Clan, you can look us up. Our Discord <coughs> uh, server is listed in our clan description. Uh, just hit us up there and we'll uh, uh, send you where you need to go.